Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Friends, today I am going to show you how to do MRI LS spine on G1.5 Tesla. Model is Brevo MR355. First of all, we will fill the data of patient. This is entry desk. I will tell you I have already uploaded one MRI LS spine video that was in Hindi language. Now I am going to post in English language. So here we are on entry desk. First of all, we will fill the name from here. Wait. Always enter a proper weight of the patient according to that. SNR will be given. LS spine, lumbar spine. From here, you have to select the protocols. Position is head first. Before doing any of the spine, you have to screen whole spine for counting purpose. For whole spine, you have to give position head first you have to lie down patient on a bed in a straight position so that we will get proper spinal cord in single image okay so from here now i will select i have kept my all the protocols in this other you have to select if spine you have to select spine but i have my personal protocols I have selected over here. This is my lumbar spine protocol. In G system, we are taking whole spine without scanogram. So for that, you have to give proper position at first. Do with proper centering. Okay. From here, start exam. Now accept. See, this is first of all first of all I will take top, mid and bottom for whole spine. Whole spine call selection is for top C spine adapter, for mid C T spine adapter and for lumbar spine you have to select spine 1 2 or 2 3 if the patient is tall you have to select spine 2 3 for bottom okay so first of all i am selecting c spine for top save rx scan now double click on mid open selection is ct spine adapter coil save rx now for bottom here the height of the patient is slightly tall automatically there is spine 1 2 selection but i will select 2 3 because the height of the patient is not adjusting over the table so that's why i am selecting spine 2 3 select according to the height of patient okay now you have to wait for 3 minutes as soon as I will receive last sequence of sash T2 bottom then I will relocalize for lumbar spine localize it is over here only after getting bottom you have to generate a new localizer for lumbar spine So now you can see here this is top now this is mid and now this is bottom okay so now what you have to do 
click on this localizer and select bottom then generate a new localizer to scan full study for lumbar spine so double click on localizer open in this three windows you have to select from here toolbar you have to select bottom okay all so in all the three windows bottom will appear now click on this sequence you can see the localizer lines are ready now simply center the localizer now save so that you will get a new localizer to scan lumbar spine i have taken whole spine screening for counting purpose whether it is lumbarized or sacralized you will get to know after whole spine screening so i will go on the main window select all the three top mid and bottom pasting click on pasting paste all the three sequence here you can see now now you have to count over your all the spines so this is c3 4 5 6 7 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 1 2 3 4 and 5 you can see 5 is over here so this is lumbar as this is s1 vertebra so you can say this is lumbarization of vertebra okay now we will go on the main window click over here you will be there on the scanning now first of all you have to scan sas t2 then after sas t2 has been generated you have to plan axials okay so first of all i will click on sas t2 double click open click on the coronal window if you want sagittal image you have to plan on coronal and axial if you want axial you have to plan on sag and coronal okay if you want coronal you have to plan on sag and axial so here i want sag t2 so i will plan on coronal window and axial why i why i plan on coronal because in coronal you will get to see spinal cord according to that you can plan you can exactly center the spinal cord one image should be exactly from the spinal cord images should be always right to left slice thickness is 3.5 you have to adjust the spacing according to region of interest it should not be more than 2 okay minimum i keep 1.6 1.8 11 images i am taking don't forget to cover the foramen because sometimes the disc extrusions are there in foramen so this is the planning for sag t2 okay keep the set band over here anterior to the stomach because it will suppress the motion artifacts of breathing plan is ready save rx scan click on auto scan it will automatically take another sequence after completing first sequence okay now you have to plan sag t1 weighted double click on the sag t1 from here rx this is the option of copy to white pages click on this Select sag t2. I'm not selecting sag band for t1 because sag band will increase the time of the scan. There is no need of sag band. If you want to keep sag band, then also it's okay. Click on anterior and keep over here, but it will increase the unnecessary time. 
So always I removed a sideband from T1 wider sequence. This much time is enough 1.47. So size T1 also plan save RX. Now I will plan coronal C. First of all I plan size T2. Simply I copied size T1. Now I will plan coronal store double click open if you want coronal you have to plan on sag and axial but in lumbar spine all the spine you should plan coronal on sagittal image okay so click on sagittal adjust the box of coronal you have to cover si joints too in this coronal stir sequence slightly oblique along the spinal cord it will cover 13 images I will take 14 image spacing is 1 and thickness is 4 ok so this is the plan for coronal stir now as soon as I will receive the size T2 I will plan for axials T2 and T1 save rx five seconds remaining now i will plan sash t2 sorry excel t2 on sagittal image so double click on excel t2 open Axials you have to plan on sagittal only because the disc and vertebra will be visualized properly on sagittal image only. So click over here. Now what you have to do, you have received this size T2. You have to enter this size T2 on this box. So click on this box, click on this black, select T2, OK. Then T2 will be in this window. Now you have to plan axial. This is S1, this is alpha S1, alpha 4, 3, 2, 1. I will cover S1. One slice should be always from the disc and other remaining should cover vertebra. Okay. This is horizontal oblique. You have to plan oblique along the disc you should not plan like this you have to plan along the horizontal oblique along the disc now alpha s1 keep the slice over here and increase one slice you have to cover this disc simply click on this adjust this is horizontal oblique images Cover the disc area and vertebra. Disc is most important. Center disc, center disc. Slightly image thickness is 4. Spacing set according to minimum spacing you have to keep. You have to keep minimal spacing for better result. Five, four, three, two, one. This is lumbar eyes, now. You have to select this. You have to increase the slice according to region of interest. If the protrusion is big and it is extending superior inferior, you have to increase the slice number of slice. Okay. It is not necessary you should keep the 
two or three slices. You have to set the slices according to region of interest. Here you can see in this patient there is nothing much significant. It is having only bulge over L5 S1 level. No big big protrusion over here. So no need to. Minimum standard protocol of images are uh, 19 images you have to. 19 images you have to take. Keep the sideband anteriorly to suppress the motion artifacts. So did you got it? The planning for lumbar spine, axials. Plan properly axial T2. Then you have to save. Now double click open axial T1. Simply copy from here T2. Accept. Same plan has been copied. So always plan first plan sage, then copy sage T1. Corona star plan axial T2 and copy axial T1. Scan has been over. Save RX. This is extra sequence. If there is trauma, something else, you should take SAG stir or SAG gradient. If there is trauma. So this was the protocol for lumbar spine. First of all, I have taken whole spine screening for counting purpose. Then I took new scanogram to scan LS spine. I took scanogram, then plan SAG T2, copied SAG T1, then plan coronal stir. Then I plan axial T2 and copied axial T1 from axial T2. So this was the scan for lumbar spine. size and also covered patient, patient is having discogenic pain L5 S1 and L4 5 level but there is nothing significant I think so after after getting T2 and T1 axial I will show you So now here we get all the images SAS T2, SAS T1, Coronal Star, Angel T2 you can see this is Angel T1 so this was the scan for MRI lumbar spine hope you will like my video please like share and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more updates you can contact me for MRI training also and you can support me on my PayPal through. Thanks for watching.